how to do that. Um, this is, goodness, part six? Could be part five. I think it's part six. Pretty sure it's part six. Okay. From Clara, who had our last question on the last one. On your social networks, you seem very serene. Do you have tips to evolve in this direction? Um, I'm serene in a lot of areas of my life. Um, my son, I love him so much. I We have a beautiful connection with each other, as I'm sure you guys understand if you've got kids. Um, I just love him. I feel totally like at peace when I'm with him. He can totally annoy me, but I feel peaceful in it, if that makes sense. And so he brings me so much serenity. But I do think the answer is um, where that peace comes from is just being okay with who I am, being okay with being human, a human being who has peaks and valleys, uh, peaks and valleys and vulnerabilities and insecurities and I'm going to have good days, I'm going to have bad days. Um, but that's real. That is real life. And real life is interesting to me. And my social media, I want to be my authentic self as much as I can. And I'm in an industry where we get put on pedestals and we get photoshopped and um, we wear fancy dresses and we get our hair and makeup done. I mean, this is what I look like every day. Bags under my eyes, like pimples on my chin. Like, this is me. This is my authentic self. And I feel like I have a responsibility to put that out in the world because everything else is getting put out in the world about me is that um, I'm this quote unquote perfect being. And it's not true. I mean, I really... I have good days, I have bad days. And most of the stuff I share on my social media is my son. And that is m my ray of light. He is my world. And oh, and I just, um, that's the most exciting thing for me to share with you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm just happy with the, the being that I am. And I accept the person I am. And I have self-love. And it makes me feel really calm and really serene and it gives me time to have authentic connections with my beautiful son and my husband and my friends and get to do these TES talks and feel really inspired and I just am happy. It makes me feel so happy and I'm enough the way I am. I am, I am enough and um, that's really important to me. But having said that, Another thing that you guys don't know because you, you don't live with me is I can be messy. I run around with like a chicken with his head cut off sometimes, like getting to play dates and getting to the thing and then picking up Bodhi and then we go to the swimming class and then we go to the thing and then I'm on the phone with my agent being like, what's the travel schedule like? And I'm like, what are we doing for dinner? Okay, let's order Postmates. I am go, 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 go. That is just literally my being. It's I am so type A, I'm like, everything has to be organized and scheduled, um, but then at the same time, it, it's like I'm two completely contrasting people. <clears throat> I'm so laid back and I'm so chilled and, um, and it's really, it's just an interesting way of being and my husband's sometimes like, do less stuff, like, Less play dates is okay, but I get so much happiness out of watching my son interact with other children his age. So I never turn down a play date. I'm always like, yes, oh, more people should come over with their kids. Should we have 20 mums and babies over? Let's jump in the pool. Like that's just who I am. And I celebrate that side of myself. Um, but yeah, so I'm also, I'm serene on the inside, but on the outside, I'm also like, go, 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 let's get these things done. Boom, 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 multitasking, yeah. It's just, it's just who I am. And a lot of people would not call that serene. But it, I can do it in a way that's in flow because I do cultivate the happiness uh, from an internal place and I am feeling really content. So I find it really manageable when my life is so hectic 
because I feel pretty unwavering. So there's that. Um, okay, from Maria, do you have any advice on what you can do daily or weekly to live a balanced life and check in with yourself? I think I've talked about this a fair bit, but um, yeah, for sure. I think, you know, balancing is, um, I talked about this in Ted's talks a few months ago. It's like where you're the trunk of the tree and the branches are all the different aspects of your life. Your children, work, study, musical instrument, whatever it is you're doing. And to stay this big, strong trunk that holds all these things together, you have to be in balance, which means um, physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. And um, uh, it's really important to pinpoint the things that keep you in balance. So meditation would be one of them for sure. Um, having real, honest, deep connections with Friends is another one for me. It's really recharging. I need that. I strive to have that in my life. Um, taking a bath, uh, doing something creative, have to be doing something creative in some form, and then moving my body, whether it's yoga or Pilates. And so all those things in a week, I make sure that I'm incorporating them in there so that I'm feeling balanced and I can have the energy to do all the things that I want to do in my life. Um, but whilst also maintaining myself physically through exercise, eating, making smart choices with my food and then, um, yeah, being able to go about my life and be invested in my work and like be really there with my family and be a good mom. And, but I wouldn't be able to do any of those things if my trunk isn't in balance and, um, it's different for, for each person, um, I know for my husband, he has to meditate daily. If he doesn't, he's out of balance. And so pinpoint what it is that really works for you. And sometimes it can be just the 15 minutes that you take out. Sometimes you need an hour to really go exercise, clear your head, and then you're okay for the day. But figure out what it is. Um, and you can try on like different hats to find out, oh, that feels good. Yoga is the thing that feels good. You know, you just have to... I guess it's trial and error, like figuring out the thing that does the big recharge. Um, okay. From Gulia, what would you tell your 19 year old self about living a balanced life and steps to get there? I think I just sort of answered that. Um, but at 19, oh man, you're like on the precipice of like being an adult and you are so vulnerable and you've just come out of this hectic teenagehood and you're moving into adulthood. Um, so it's almost like you're just riding a wave at 19. You're just riding the wave of life and you're trying to stay afloat. And at that age, I, if I had started doing some of this self work, this like evolved way of thinking back at 19, I would have avoided a lot of heartbreak. I would have avoided a lot of uh, anxiety and suffering. So I would tell myself to just start reading, start taking that time. You don't have that many responsibilities at 19. You have the time to go and dedicate yourself to a spiritual practice, whatever that looks like for you. Um, read about your way of being. Um, read about how to be conscious minded and mindful and find the websites that you're inspired by and those people who do Tez talks and do other videos inspiring people like my friend um, Melissa Ambrosini she's an amazingly inspiring woman find those people that you can learn from and be a seeker and at 19 oh you're at such a special age so you're right there about to be in adulthood. And so if you can move into adulthood, having this whole like bunch of equipment and all these tools to really know how to navigate life, then you're set. And really it starts with the self-love. I keep going back to it. I mean, it's so imperative to do that. You are enough the way you are. You are a magical, shining, beautiful being and you can hold that and keep that with you and that's always yours. You always have that for you. So no matter what happens outside of you, you're strong in it and you're able to face all of those things and um, and not get so overwhelmed at 19 because it, it can be a really challenging age. 
So that's what I would tell myself. Um, okay, are you raising Bodhi Vegan from Kills? I'm not, actually. He's vegetarian. Um, so he does have some dairy. He's tried fish a couple of times. But um, he's definitely very vegetarian. And he loves to eat lots of things. He... He... <laughs> Um, created a recipe with me the other day called Zai Bai Dai. That's what he named it. And it is um, broccoli and spinach and pine nuts and pasta sauce. And we just chuck it all in together and we stir it. And I find that when I cook food with him, he's more inclined to eat it. And so he's munching on the broccoli and eating the spinach and he's really excited by that. Um, the other day he put his own salad dressing together. Um, put that in a big bunch of spinach and ate it. Um, and then he, you know, he's a huge bread guy. He's like his mama. He's definitely his mama's son. He um, is obsessed with eating bread. He loves pastas. Like he's very carb heavy, like moi over here. Um, but yeah, it's it's really interesting. He's like a huge, he just was fascinated about making his own food. So it's great because I feel like he can be healthier when we do that. Um, and I didn't raise him vegan because I'm not vegan and I'm vegetarian and, um, and I sometimes eat fish too. Um, although, as I said earlier, I'm transitioning out of that. So he just eats what we eat. And that's, that's how it's been. Unfortunately, he was eating some meat at his preschool, which I didn't know about until I got there. And I saw that he was eating some meat. And I was like, no! <laughs> um, but it's fine. He never, he didn't ask for it again. He didn't crave it. And I'm going to let him make his own decision about the sorts of foods that he wants to eat when he's older. Um, but right now we don't, we don't eat meat in our house we don't ever cook chicken we don't ever have anything like that we don't believe in eating that way um i don't want him to eat that way and so he just eats what we eat um and i guess it's a conscious choice but he's super 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 healthy he's also still breastfed so he's getting so many nutrients from that and um he's just a happy beautiful little man all right guys see you in the next one